Asava, this is Lazybot, and welcome to today's video, guys. Today, I want to present you guys my ultimate devastator skill build. This particular build, guys, is actually one of the funnest ones to play with. Not only is it going to be focusing on three primary factors, but it's also super, super fun and different way of actually playing the devastator from the other builds that I have for you guys. If you guys like a different playstyle, I have other builds like my bleed build, my melee build. My impale build so if you want to check those out you're more than welcome to i'll link them down below in the description but today i want to present you this amazing build that's going to have you having a ton of fun with the abilities from the devastator so if all of this sounds like something you're definitely interested a like would be greatly appreciated now let's talk about my ultimate skill build for the devastator so what is this build primarily focusing on it's focusing on three primary things number one it's going to give you the ability to have seven skills active every single time it's going to be having a very number two it's going to have a very slow cooldown so that means you're going to be able to spam these skills very often and number three you're going to be able to apply bleed and get extra damage from using the skills and vice versa so a lot of really fun a lot of really good synergy with this build it's actually a little bit difficult to put together because you do need some level three mods but even though if you don't have the level three mods you're still able to actually use these without the level three mods. And as you work your way up, just keep adding skills as you progress. So let's take a look at the skills we're going to be messing around with. So first and foremost, guys, Earthquake is going to be our number bread and butter. We have a 6.7 cooldown. Theoretically, we could probably get this down to like maybe 6.56 6, uh, if we have a specific gear. But other than that, 6.7, that is a very fast cooldown. Number two, guys, we're going to be using Gravity Leap, another one that's going to be not like the main priority one, but it's going to actually help us buff and get a little bit more damage. And we're also going to be using Impale. This one's actually really, really good, guys, because this is going to allow us to interrupt the enemy. It's going to allow us to apply bleed. It's also going to be doing damage every time we apply this. And in addition to that, it's going to give us a boost to armor and health, and it's also going to give us a little bit more damage. All right, so now let's take a look at our skill tree. For our skill tree, guys, we are going to be going kind of all a bottom tree. And this is actually going to be very fundamental. It's a bit different than what we have for our other ones, for our other builds. But let's talk about what we have here and how this is synergizing. So we have Anomaly boosting our Anomaly here. We have a Skill Life Leech, which is going to be getting our health from the skill. We have a cooldown reduction to our Earthquake and our Impale. Another Anomaly boost. We're picking up uh, Resistance Piercing, which is going to help us take uh, care of the Elites. We're also going to be picking up uh, this one that's going to reduce the cooldown of our uh, Gravity Leap. We also have this one, which is going to increase your Anomaly Boost. Another Earthquake and Impale reduction on how fast we're able to trigger that one. Another Anomaly Boost. We're going down one, picking up double the damage to class Melee. Remember, Melee is considered an ability and a skill. Please keep that in mind. It is extremely important that you guys remember that. So theoretically, guys, we're going to be able to do a ton of damage with... A uh, total of eight skills usage. Really awesome. And the cool thing about melee, for those of you guys who don't know, actually melee does bleed damage as well. So we have multiple ways of applying this bleed damage, which is really, really cool. Next up, guys, we're also picking up uh, damage against enemies below 30 health. Another anomaly nod, we're picking up a bloodbath, which is going to make a uh, bleed effect on enemies deal 30 more damage. Really important. We're also going to be picking up healing 25% from the bleed damage, which is really cool because... Every time we're applying bleed, we're getting health back. And since we're pretty much being bloody every single time, it's going to give us a lot of health back and synergy. Next, guys, we're going to go with increased skill live leech. That's going to, you know, once again, giving us health with our skill and also with the bleed effect. We have the protected by the anomaly, which is going to increase your armor bonus by 40% for your anomaly power. Next up, guys, we have increased armor and resistance by 20% for 10 seconds. Really cool. So that's actually really dope. That's when your skill ends. So since our skills are going to be ending constantly and constantly, there's going to be being procced over and over and over again. Next, guys, another increase your resistance piercing. And we're also picking up Bloodbath, which is going to... Uh, enemies afflicted with bleed are uh, going to have 30% more damage. And last but not least, guys, we're picking up Jared's Heritage. Increased seismic skills, base damage by 50%. Once again, our Earthquake and our Impale. So basically, that is what we're going with. And this is the fundamental bread and butter. Now let's take a look at our inventory and talk about what you guys actually need to put this together. Now I'm going to give you, this is an optimal build that I'm giving you guys. Now, if you don't, ha if you have blues and purples, uh, it, there's other suggestions I could give to you guys. I just don't want to extend this video too long. 
Uh, but you guys can drop them down in the question, ask them the questions down below in the comment section. I'll go ahead and answer them for you guys. Also, I'm going to show a little bit of gameplay. Uh, you guys some, saw some gameplay in the beginning, but I'm also going to be showing some gameplay at towards the end. If you want to see the full complete gameplay, I will be uploading that on my channel so you guys get an idea of how the synergy works with the particular build. So first and foremost, start with weapons. Weapons are not that main a big component on this build. The only thing that is a main big component is this mod called Fortress. This is going to allow you to, to do a at least 20% more damage with all your abilities, with all your anomaly, and with bullets. So it's extremely important. It is not like... You must have to actually complete gold tiers. I mean, once you get to CT15s, yes, you're definitely going to want to get it. But I think anything from CT12s and below, you don't need this one that much. Uh, but once you get to higher tiers, you're definitely going to need it. It is extremely important. Now, you have to have this applied on every weapon. And every time you have this applied on every weapon, whenever you have that weapon, you're going to get that boost. If you have a weapon that does not have the Fortress mod equipped on it, then you will not get that boost. So it's extremely important. That's why I have it applied on here and also on this one as well. With this build, it's awesome because you could run double shotguns and not run out of ammo. You're going to be rocking and rolling. Just theoretically, you're going to be using these just as a uh, kind of a reference point just to give more damage to your um, to your abilities. So extremely important. The next one I want to recommend, guys, is the one in the pistol called Moaning Winds. This is not a requirement, but it's really easy to get rid of all those pesky little ads. So I would highly recommend you guys definitely pick this one up. Now, that's for as far as weapons. Those are not a requirement, but they make the build even better once you have them accessed. Now, for our main bread and butter, which is our, you know, main concept here, you're looking for the three major attributes. Number one, you're looking for anomaly power, cooldown reduction, so you can have your skills up, and skill life leech. These are going to be extremely important. That's going to be the bread and butter of this build. So if you want to have them fully optimal build, you want to make sure that all your five pieces come with anomaly power, cooldown reduction, and skill life leech. That's going to be extremely important. Uh, you could you don't theoretically need the um, the seismic commander uh, armor, uh, but it is optimal because it does give you that increased damage towards enemies with bleed by fifty percent. So that would make the build optimal. But if you guys just look for stuff that has anomaly power, uh, you know, cooldown reduction and skill life leech, you guys should be good to go. Now, the Seismic Commander does come with Anomaly Power, Status Power, and Cooldown Reduction. So it's not going to be giving you a, a more health when you do the skills, but you do get Status Power, which is increasing your bleed damage. So it's really important. It's a good combo, but I still would recommend the Skill Life Leech for more survivability. So that is what we have. Let me go over the mods that we have. So for the uh, main headpiece, we went ahead and have Untamed Power. This is a level 2 mod, so you guys should theoretically already have this one. What this is going to allow you to do, it's going to allow you that when you use your skill, you're going to deal 38,000 uh, more damage to enemies within a 5 meter radius. The damage is equal to 30% of your anomaly power, so our anomaly power is almost at 100, uh, 100 plus, uh, so we are going to be getting a lot of boost right there. We also added a earthquake one, which is an extremely requirement. This is going to give your earthquake, uh, allow it to inflict bleed. So this is extremely important because you want to make sure that you, you have everything that inflicts bleed as you possibly can. Right now, our melee inflicts bleed, our earthquake inflicts bleed, and our impale inflicts bleed. So we are going to be doing a lot of bleed damage here. Next up, guys, for our chest piece, we are going to be running a second quake. Now, this one is a level 3 mod. This one might be a little bit harder for you guys to get. If you don't have this, you just want to apply another uh, earthquake mod that either gives you more damage or uh, that gives you, uh, you know, a uh, knocks down the armor of enemies. I think that's a level one mod that gives you armor when you guys kill someone. So that's really important. But this is the optimal one that you want to go with. You want to have make sure you have three abilities active when it comes to Earthquake. And of course, one requirement, it's Earthquake's Legacy. It, it might not seem super important, but it is extremely important. It's going to make you go super duper fast because you're going to be able to have a bigger range with that Earthquake and do more damage with a bunch of enemies. The next one, guys, is the pants. Once again, we're going anomaly power, status power, cooldown reduction. Uh, here we have another level three mod called Tainted Blood, which is going to increase the damage dealt to enemies afflicted with bleed by 25%. That is not a requirement. There is another bleed two mod that you can theoretically go with here, and you guys should be perfectly fine. But we do have um, extra quake. This is a level one mod, which is going to give you that extra quake, giving you a total of three quakes. That one's really important. The next one, guys, we have the gloves. Anomaly power, close range damage, and cooldown reduction. This is not the most optimal, uh, you know, armor piece or, you know, handpiece or gauntlets or gloves that we could use. 
because we are losing skill life leech or we're not we're losing status power so you're looking for anomaly power status cooldown or anomaly cooldown skill life leech so that's the main thing so we if this piece were actually better we would be doing even way more damage with this one so this one um the only requirement here guys is you want to have that ground crunch which is going to increase the skill based damage by 84k really important it, it seems like a little bit but remember you have three of these so that's going to be eight times eight times eight so it's going to give you a lot of power right there uh the optimal one here is called power simulation which is going to boost your anomaly power by 11k for each elite present really important especially when you have those big boss battles and you want to take care of the enemies really fast and last but not least guys for the foot footwear we're going with the seismic commander foot gear uh the reason this one is optimal is because since we are using impale we're able to get a uh, mod from here which is a level one which is called sharpened spike skill deals 129 uh damage uh more damage so it's really important because we're going to have a total of three impales here because we put here the ultimate impaler the skill can be activated two more times before triggering a cooldown so that gives us the ability of having three of these so that's 120 so that's 300 damage every single time we get that impale so really active now remember with the impale we're getting our health back we're applying bleed we're getting armor so it makes it really effective so that theoretically is the optimal build that you want to have with this setup now the cool thing about this guys is when you guys are ready to rock and roll you're going to notice that you have a total of eight abilities eight skills that you could use you could use earthquake you could use gravity leap you could use impale so the way you actually want to do this guys you want to grab the leap on a melee once you land with the gravity leap you're going to earthquake 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 so that's three earthquakes and then you're going to go three impales one two three by the time it's done guys by the time that impale is done you you already have you should already be in cooldown of your earthquake so you want to keep that cycle going that's theoretically the way you want to play this to get the most amount of damage for this particular build over in general guys let me know what you guys think of this build put it together you guys won't be disappointed this is the ultimate skill build you have a total of eight skills at your disposal and makes the runs super easy and fast and not only that but it actually makes it really fun to actually play I hope you guys are enjoying our Outriders coverage. If you are, guys, do me the huge favor, guys. Drop a like, drop a comment. But most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notifications so you guys won't miss when we go live. And also, when our videos get uploaded, make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you guys can get notified when that happens. Big shout out to all of you guys who have supported on the live stream. You guys are amazing. I couldn't do this without you guys. So thank you very much for all the love and support. If you guys haven't had a chance to check us out on live stream, make sure you guys stop by. We usually stream daily. We're probably streaming live right now. So make sure you guys hang out and come by and check us out over here on YouTube. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. And don't forget, if you want to see the full gameplay, I will be uploading it later on my channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. I gonna punch a grown man, brother. Come on. All right, cool, cool, cool. I kind of want to get rid of these guys real quick. 